Marco. Marco. Yes, Tony. Come and have a look at this. What is it? House martins. Oh yes. So building, look at that. building their nest up there. Gosh, they're terribly neat, aren't they? Very clever little things. I've spent a couple of days out here watching them, drawing them. It's given me a marvellous idea for the start of the programme. Great, Tony. Hello. Well, I expect you heard all about that. Uh, birds is what this programme is all about today. Birds and flying things in general. And I thought uh, that you might like to have a look at this house martin. Same family as sand martins and swallows. And this is a martlet. In the 11th century, they were called martlets, and indeed, they still are in some parts of England today. Especially in Sussex, they've got it on the county badge. And this is rather fun. When you think of the town of Arundel, which has a martlet on the corporation seal, the French word for swallow is hirondelle. Hirondelle, Arundel. Perhaps, why not? Anyway, we are going to make a martlet in paper sculpture, and these are the bits that you would need to do it. Now, I know you can't take all that in very quickly, just like that. So, um, if you want a fact sheet, well, you send us a stamped addressed envelope, we'll send you the fact sheet. So, I'm going to start by showing you the simplest and the hardest bits <laughs> to make the martlet. Then, in the, the middle bits, you're going to have to work out for yourself. Now, this is a tiny upper wing, and what I'm doing here is what is called scoring, which is to not cut through, but make an indent where you want it, in a curve like that. That's done with a rather blunt knitting needle, which is very safe. Now, if I just give a little fold to it like that, it becomes three-dimensional and looks quite good. Now for the really tricky one, and that's the head of the bird. Here we are. We need a circle looking rather like a target, and on the back we need a little bit of double-sided tape, and I'm going to cut that side of the tape, if I can find the place there, and cut into the center, and again about an inch along here to the center, and now I'm going to cut out that middle circle. Best to do it as neatly as you can. There. Now, I have scored that circle there, so I should be able to bend. Go all the way around, quite gently, like that, and if you've got the two middle ends well bent like that, you just check where the sticky bit was, which is there, so we know that if I bring those two bits around like that, get it to the centre, press together, and we've got the head. Another very easy bit is the little beak there, also with sticky stuff on it. And we can hide that connecting bit there by putting the beak on there. And because of the shape of the thing, that too will be three-dimensional. Fine. We'll go on now with the body part, which is this, looking terribly like a fish. That's the bit we did in the first place. But we will now put head on about there. And a wing, which is made in the same way as that one, except that there are two score marks there so that it gets that shape. And we will attach that like that. Now, here's a funny bit, isn't it? That makes the whole sort of leg and foot unit. And by squeezing like that, we get the right shape, which goes in the V-shape there. There we are, all ready. Oh, just one more tip. If you want to display them on something, you know, stick them on the background, here's a very good idea. If you just put a little piece of polystyrene or cork on the back, with some double-sided sticky tape. That raises it and makes it much easier to put
put on a background. So we'll do that now. If I put one of those there, I have another couple. And one there. And of course, that's the position for the final one. Not bad at all. Not likely to do that again, I think. But, you know, people have always wanted to be able to fly. I remember when I was a little boy, I took two sticks and tied fly, great sheets of... Let's fly, let's fly away. Oh, oh Mr. H, can you what help me? I'm What are you oh. trying to do? Oh, what? Oh, what? Sorry about that. As I was saying, people have always been trying to fly. That's very when true, you... Mr H. Do you know, I personally have always wanted to be able to fly. Luckily, I bought this hand gliding kit off a friend of mine. He's in hospital now, so he won't be needing it. But isn't that frightfully dangerous? What? But, uh, I'm uh, sorry, I can't hear you, Mr H. But, I'll see you later. But you'll need, you'll need this. That woman is downright dangerous. Anyway, don't you try and do it. What am I going to do with these? Ah, 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 ah. 